<laughs> it's stuck in there. G'day, hope you guys are doing well. My name's Steve and with me today is the 92cc Giant Z hole digger, or Giants, I'm not sh exactly sure how you uh, pronounce it. And right next to that is the auger kit from Giant Z as well. Uh, in the kit we have a 300mm, a 200mm and a 100mm auger. They're I think one metre long. It also comes with two 60 centimetre extensions and also an 80 meter extension so pardon me <laughs> 80 centimeter extension so i think all in all you can dig about three meters deep so we're going to give it a crack behind us uh, later on but uh, first off let's open up the boxes and see what the what they come with cheers guys contained within the hole digger box is a fuel mixing bottle safety glasses safety gloves tools and instructions and earmuffs now, admittedly, they're not the best quality, but, you know, they're available if you don't have any at home. And lastly, of course, is the uh, hole digger, which we picked up from eBay for 239 Australian dollars. The thing's bloody heavy too. I think on the side of the uh, box, it says it's about 13 kilos and it bloody feels it. Next up is the auger kit that we purchased for $144 off eBay. We decided to buy the auger kit and the hole digger separately because it saved us a few extra dollars rather than buying it as a package. As I mentioned before, we, the auger kit comes with, with a 300mm, 200mm and 100mm augers, 2 times 60 centimetre extenders and 1 times 80 centimetre extender. To fit the auger onto the hole digger, simply remove the split pin and the locking pin from the auger itself, then fit the auger to the hole digger and line up the holes, and then yeah, simply fit back the locking pin and the split pin and you're ready to go. I'm guessing this is probably about 15 kilos and it really feels like quite a solid bit of kit. Um, feels like quite good quality actually. The ratio of two stroke oil to fuel is 25 to one, which is a bit different to what I'm normally used to. I think we use 50 to one for our chainsaw and, and whip and snipper, etc. And you'll notice a bit later that it does, it is quite smoky. Um, but anyway, that's what the instructions say. Next up, make sure that the choke is set to the on position. Turn the stop run switch to the run position and then press the, uh, the primer bulb 10 times and you're, you're ready to give the, uh, the engine a yank over. One thing I noticed when I was cranking the engine is that it feels quite, quite tight, quite tightly compressed. Um, a lot different to the chainsaw or the, the whippersnipper that we've got. I'm guessing that's perhaps due to the, the 92cc large engine. I decided to test the 100mm auger first, mainly because of my puny little computer programmer arms and I just wanted to make sure I could handle the 100mm before progressing through to the 200 and the 300. Um, as you'll notice, we're relatively close to the beach, so the soil is it's kind of sandy. Um, however, there are a few rocks uh, uh, down there and quite a few roots as well. So you'll see it does grab onto the auger a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with this first test. The reason that we purchased the hole digger was so that we could lay our own fence on the, the property that we've just bought. So I think we're going to buy 1.8 metre uh, treated pine stumps. We're going to dig a hole, I think, 60 centimetres deep. So that's about 1.2 metres uh, on top of the land. And you can see here that the hole takes probably, you know, no more than 20 to 30 seconds to dig, which is fantastic. I then decided to get a little bit cocky, a little bit adventurous and attach the 80 centimetre extender pole uh, to dig down a little bit further. I'm not sure why, what I'm doing, looking for oil or whatever, but uh, as you'll see, it didn't work out like I planned. <laughs> Just as before, when we attach the auger to the hole digger, simply use the locking pin and split pin to attach the 80 centimetre extender. And with the risk of repeating myself, I will say it again that I think I'm, I may have put too much two-stroke oil in the in the fuel mixture because it does look quite smoky to me. <laughs> it's stuck in there. I did finally manage to get it out though. The second test, as you can see, is using the 200 mil auger. 
Um, it was a little bit more kind of yanky and shaky than the 100 mil, as you would guess, but it was still manageable. Uh, and one other thing I will mention, you most definitely need to wear hearing protection when, when using this machine because it's bloody loud. So as I mentioned before, if your soil's fairly sandy like this, you're going to be able to dig one meter deep holes within, within seconds, within probably 30 seconds. The 200mm auger appeared to leave behind a little bit more loose dirt than the 100mm as you can see in these photos. I placed the fence post into the hole just to show how much loose dirt was down the bottom. I was quite apprehensive about using the 300mm auger based on some other YouTube videos that I'd seen. Uh, and as you can see in this clip it didn't work out very well for me at all. I think I was quite lucky to get out of this with just a couple of bruises and, and scratches. So just be aware of this that if you do buy one of these machines when you do use the the larger bit it is quite quite talky it will it will grip a root and uh, rip your hand off uh, if it can and just for comparison purposes these last four photos show the 100 mil pole versus each of the holes that i've dug good on you guys have a good one